Good morning everyone. I'll start today's lecture with a question. Have you ever wanted to fly? No, I don't mean that as some kind of euphemism. I mean, have you actually ever genuinely wanted to soar through the skies on wings made of stardust? Seriously guys, it's not a euphemism. Anyway, in Terraria you can. And today we're going to talk about the huge variety of ways you can go about it. Wings are, for the most part, an accessory that attach to a person's back and grant them the ability to fly for a period of time, glide, and as a result, survive falls from great heights. There are a total of 42 items categorized as wings at present, created in a wide variety of ways with some granting the ability to fly higher than others. However, a few do not resemble typical wings in any way, be them technological or magical in nature, but serve the exact same purpose. In order to survive the hostile world of Terraria, being equipped with a pair of wings will become mandatory very quickly after defeating the Wall of Flesh. Furthermore, continually upgrading a set of wings is extremely important. To this end, there are 12 tiers of wing strength, each of which will allow a person to fly higher than the last. The first tier contains the most common and easy to obtain wings, including the Angel, Demon and Finn variants, and can reach up to 25.5 meters. The next tier has the sole entry of the Jetpack, which can reach 30 meters in height, although this tier is often skipped by many in favor of the next, which contains Pixie, Bee and Butterfly wings, that can attain a maximum height of 33.5 meters. A step up from these are the Bat, Harpy and Bone types, capable of reaching 36 meters. The next tier is slightly different and contains a number of unique wings originally belonging to named individuals involved in the creation of Terraria's universe. These include wings belonging to Will, Crowndo, D-Town, Senks, Loki, Jim, Red and Arkali. The other variants are Lazarus Barrier Platform, a platform that is capable of levitating someone when stood on, Eraser's Spell, a magical spell that grants flight, Skiff's Paws, which are basically wings but look like paws, and Lenifor's Prehensile Cloak, which effectively acts like Doctor Strange's Cloak of Levitation. Despite their variety, all of these special wing types are capable of reaching a maximum of 38.5 meters. The sixth tier contains some of the most widely used wings, including Flame, Leaf, Frozen, Spectre, Beetle and Mothran, and these can reach up to 40 and a half meters. And beyond these, wings tend to become either much rarer or difficult to craft, with the next tier consisting of festive wings and the hoverboard, reaching up to 43 meters. The eighth tier of wings is made up of tattered, fairy, steampunk and spooky wings, each capable of flying up to 45 and a half meters. Now what sets these wings apart is that they are the most powerful craftable wings that still require souls of flight to create. The rest of the wings are considered very high tier accessories, starting with the nebula and vortex variants, able to reach 53 meters, followed by two tiers consisting of only one set of wings each. These are Betsy's wings and Fishron's wings, able to fly up to 59 and a half and a huge 71 and a half meters respectively. The final tier contains the stardust and solar wings that can reach up to 83 and a half meters. While these are the most powerful wings, they can still be outclassed by other items such as the UFO mount summoned by the Cosmic Khaki, an item that may be obtained before being able to craft the higher tier wings, therefore potentially make them superfluous. As previously stated, all craftable wings require at least 15, but most often 20 souls of flight to create. That is other than the wings that utilize luminite in the recipe. The souls are clearly what give the wings the ability to fly. However, it must also be true that Luminite has some sort of inherent levitative ability. While all wings have their own base statistics such as flight time, ascent speed and maximum height, there are several accessories that can significantly boost them. These are balloons that increase ascent speed by 30%, rocket boots that extend flight time by 0.6 seconds, and the moon charm and the frog leg, which each boost ascent speed by 4% and 48% respectively. Furthermore, slow fall potions and items will assist in extending wing glide time, meaning that stacking the right selection of items and potions will allow for almost perpetual flight even with low tier wings. Wings of any sort are an absolute must for anyone who wishes to explore Terraria to the fullest. Not only can they allow their user to escape danger quickly, but they are also extremely useful for simply getting around the vast world. Because of a wide variety of wings and their varying statistics, it is difficult to precisely judge their significance. Therefore, taking into account their basic abilities that allow a person to fly and negate fall damage, plus the average difficulty of crafting or finding them, as a whole, Terrarian wings have been given an artifact rating of significant. 
Wings are one of those artifacts that are more like a category, like the pieces of Eden. And while this is an overview, they can all be looked at in greater detail individually, so make sure you let me know if you would like to know more about each of them, and subscribe so you know when their lectures will be. Other than that, support the course on Patreon so I can try and build a pair myself. And on that note, does anyone actually know where to get any sort of flight? No? Okay, thought not. I guess I'll see you all next week then.